Let's get ready to rumble! Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the Ladies veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. In the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA. Sugar, Sean O'Malley! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper number six! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this team match. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Oh! 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 He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Can he take? Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. 
This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Push him on! Push him on! All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back to his feet. Huge block there. Level change. Your leg. Finish the takedown. Great job. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ten seconds. Round two is next. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Punch over the top. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown first, this fight's going to be over. Decent. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from the corner and picked up the pace here in round two. O'Malley's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, let's rewrite the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 7 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shaw!